and then I would go into preschools and I would see the little magic circles that they would have where they would come and they would start talking about their feelings. I would think, oh, that's a wonderful thing. Or when you go to different groups, AA or different groups, and you hear people talk about their feelings, that's wonderful. But again, it's what's the purpose behind it. You, even in the little magic circles or in AA groups or churches and, and Course in Miracles groups, if it stays at, at just talking about the feelings, of joining in our misery, and joining in, in the misery, the then that, right. again, right. that's not helpful. Right. So to me, I just like, oh, this goes even deeper than just the simplicity mm -hmm. of talking about feelings to, you know, if they're commiserating, whether yeah. it's little preschoolers commiserating. <laughs> oh, did you get that, teacher? <laughs> I had her do it. Did your mom do that to you? <laughs> My mom did it too. I hate this Play-Doh stuff. It's too dry. You know, or if it's 12 steps, you know, you think you had it bad. Let me tell you about my story, you know. That, again, would be an ego motive. Certainly that's sharing feelings. There's no doubt about that. But, again, it's the, it's yeah. the, what's the intention? Yeah. And mm -hmm. to really let go and let the Holy Spirit take it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> say, yeah, well, this is how I felt. But I had this change of mind, or a different, I saw this differently. Now I feel like this. That's helpful. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's inspiring. Mm -hmm. That's, that's what AA is built yeah. yeah. they, yes. The whole point of it is to say how it was, what happened, and how it is now. And, you know, those are the basic guidelines mm -hmm. for getting a lead. Uh, you're always, where you yeah, you're always supposed to include what what happened to change mm -hmm. and where you want. But the them. emphasis is on the fact that there has been a change. Right, mm -hmm. right. And the old timers tend to not focus very much at all on how it was. How it was. They really right. get into the spiritual principles yeah, and how it and how it is now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and Our children are much more open to the ideas about death right. than an older person but, who has but still death. Still they're, death. they're very hurt. Oh. <laughs> But if we make that, those categories sure. again, then you know you can come up with your different modes of dealing with things, and it it really has to do with the readiness of the mind, and yeah. nothing to do with the age of the body or the sex of the body or right. whatever. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, yeah. A correction yeah. can be made at any yeah. level, yeah. you know. Yeah. In, but it has to be in our own mind. I'd like to read some lines from the Course in Chapter 16. The first section is on true empathy, and I think it addresses some of the things that perhaps are in your mind about dealing with children who, in your perception, are, are in fact feeling a loss, and how um, to be I mean, a help What, what I experience is that when they initially come, they, they are, you know, they're unable to talk about it, and in the group setting, hearing that other children their age have had that same experience does, in fact, change their perception of it. They don't feel like they're the only one right, in the world. Right, exactly. Yeah. That, that, that overwhelming the problem that, that can't be yeah. handled. I think that, that is the purpose, <coughs> is to help them right. realize that, you know, life they're will go alone. on, they're not alone, mm -hmm. and it appears to work. Mm -hmm. Just a few things. This is, uh, what page you on? Well, in the first edition, it's on page 307. And I was just, I was just going to read a few lines that I have underlined that have been most helpful in that part. Um, Do not use empathy to make the past real and so perpetuate it. All you have learned of empathy is from the past. To empathize does not mean to join in suffering. For that is what you must refuse to understand. That is the ego's interpretation of empathy and is always used to form a special relationship in which the suffering is shared. The Holy Spirit does not understand suffering and would have you teach it is not understandable. Pain is not accomplished by delusional attempts to enter into it. Healing pain is not accomplished by delusional attempts to enter into it. And I think that's the whole point yeah. that, that you know we want to get to is that to be truly helpful in that kind of situation and to bring about the healing that we want, um, we have to do that by not entering into the delusion of pain.